Good morning, Marmy. Welcome back to Mom Boss of Three and welcome back to Wellness Wednesdays. So it has been a while since I did a Wellness Wednesday video, but there wasn't a whole lot of wellness happening in my life, unfortunately, but that's okay. It's a new year and we're going to try to revamp the things in my fridge and our eating habits. So in today's video, I'm prepping for three vegetarian meals and some of the items that I'm prepping can actually be mixed and matched and you can create new meals out of what will already be prepared in the fridge. But before we get into the entire meal prep, if you're new to my channel, my name is Tina. I'm the mom of three. I put out videos here on YouTube three times a week. I hope you'll consider subscribing and joining the Marmy, which is the mom army. So my goal today is to get everything prepped. So like you would cook it when you're actually gonna have it, but I have everything prepped and ready in the fridge within 30 minutes because mom bosses be busy. So on the menu today is black bean burgers. If you've been following me for a while, you guys know that I make black bean burgers all the time. It's a great way to use up the veggies I have in my fridge. And if you have really picky eaters, it's a great way to get some extra vegetables in their meals. And if you're not a vegetarian and you guys do things like meatless Mondays, it's a great option. Like meat lovers and vegetarians like seem to like these burgers so it's a great option for you number two is a vegetarian stir fry so i'm going to prep all the ingredients but not put them together until i'm actually ready to eat it so you can give it like a quick saute right before you eat it but having the ingredients separate makes it easy for you to create new meals from all the things that you've prepped the third dish is going to be a tofu or paneer dish so paneer is like an indian cheese it doesn't Really melt when it gets hot. Um, I'm going to show you guys all of it, but let's get started. So I'm going to get a bunch of stuff on the stove and a bunch of stuff going, and I'm going to show you guys everything that's happening. So I've got some rice boiling on the stove. That is going to be for my stir fry a little later on. But first thing I'm going to do for the bean burgers, I've got canned black beans. Any brand will do. I've got some organic ones that I picked up. Um, I find for like a regular size can, like this is 398 um, ml. This one is 540. Usually, like with a 540 can, I make about for burgers. Now you can make them any size you want because you're making the burgers yourself. They are pretty heavy, so they don't actually have to be um, that big. And especially if you're making a lot for kids, they're heavy. They've got um, black beans, they've got breadcrumbs, and like if you want to throw egg in there to help the burger stay together more, like you can add pretty much every anything you want. Um, so you don't have to make them that big. So I would say for like a can, you can make about four. So today my goal is with these two to make eight burgers. So the recipe is super simple. I'm going to chop up any vegetables I want. So in this case, I have zucchini and a bell pepper. I do sometimes throw in some spinach and it does make the burgers green, but the kids are told that they're Hulk burgers and will make them into the Incredible Hulk and they have never complained about eating them. So those get blended up. I also throw in some garlic and ginger. You could throw in any other spices that you want. I throw in a little bit of salt as well. After that, I throw in washed and drained black beans and blend all of that together. And that mixture can become a little bit thick and harder to blend properly in your food processor or, or blender or whatever you're using. And so what I like to do sometimes is add in some avocado oil, some olive oil, any kind of healthy oil that you have on hand, just a little bit of it to make the mixture a little bit thinner. Once that's all done, I pour out the mixture, I mix in some breadcrumbs, I just eyeball it really and add enough that the mixture is firm enough that I can make patties out of it. I then put those patties on a baking sheet and I stick that baking sheet in the fridge. If you leave it in the fridge for about 15 or 20 minutes, the patties firm up pretty well so it's easier to cook them otherwise they tend to fall apart a little bit more easily I mean if you add a whole lot more breadcrumbs then that won't happen but I try to limit the amount of breadcrumbs in the burgers just to keep them soft if you're in a really big rush you can actually even put them in the freezer like even for, for 10 minutes and that'll firm them up enough to make them ready to cook so I've got the burgers in the fridge the rice is cooking for the stir fry next thing I'm going to do is get to the base for the stir fry so the veggie stir fry is super simple it's going to be chickpeas mixed vegetables and rice. Now you can add or modify this any way you want, but a better way to do this than how I had been doing it in the past is to actually keep all your ingredients separate until you're ready to eat it. That way, if you want to make a different dish with those mixed vegetables, you can, or a different dish with the rice or a different dish with, with the chickpeas or throw them on a salad or something, it's all separate washed or cooked and ready in the fridge. So I'm using these frozen vegetables, they're from Costco. It's just any any stir fry blend is fine. You can use fresh, fresh vegetables if you want. It takes a little bit more time to prep because you have to chop the vegetables. This is what I had on hand and it's easy for me. I would love one day to do everything, you know, completely fresh, but um, I can't right now. So this is how I'm doing it. Okay, so those are cooking up. I'm gonna add some garlic and salt and stuff to them, but these chickpeas, Again, plain chickpeas in a can. I'm gonna wash them and put them in a container in the fridge. So I always have them ready. So one great thing that I love about having beans already washed in the fridge is that it's something easy to throw into a salad. Now I know it seems silly that you could just 
open the can and wash them anytime. I don't know if I'm just lazy, but sometimes that extra step can make me reach for something that's already ready or easier or that requires no prep work. Again, like I said, I don't know if I'm just lazy. I just like to have all the things ready. It would just make picking up a whole food choice a little bit easier than say getting a bowl of cereal which happens to be something i love to do here's a little sneaky reason why i wanted you guys to keep the rice and vegetables and everything separate when you do your meal prep so this is better chicken sauce it's suitable for vegetarians so the sauce itself does not contain any meat but a great thing to do with this is to either put tofu in it or put in paneer so indian cheese you can get it in most grocery stores you literally just cut it up and put it in and it's the most amazing meal now sometimes I'm in the mood for a little bit more junk foodie meal and honestly when you go to an Indian restaurant so if you're not if you're not Indian and you don't eat Indian food or you only eat Indian food in restaurants the food that you're eating is like the junk food version of, <laughs> of Indian food that you would make at home so everything's really creamy and buttery and that's definitely not how I cook regularly in my home but you always get the cravings for that really good like shahi paneer which is like the vegetarian version basically of butter chicken um, so I love to grab this sauce for the days when I do feel like a little treat not only will you save money making it at home you can kind of control the ingredients a little bit too so all you do is put this bottle, empty it into a into a pan, heat it up and throw in the paneer and just let it cook for a few minutes. The paneer is just cheese so you don't really even have to like cook it that long. You're just kind of mixing it together, that's all. So that makes a great meal. But what I'll do in preparation of maybe making a healthier version of it is tofu. So today I have sriracha tofu. That just happens to be what I have. Um, but if you buy regular tofu and saute it and cook it up and have it ready in your fridge, not only can you add it to the stir fry, you can also add it to this butter chicken sauce. You can also add it on top of a salad. So now, full disclosure, I had a bag salad that I purchased for the video today and when I got home, it was opened. So I didn't realize in the store that the packet had already been opened and so I wasn't gonna eat that so I had to toss it. But if you buy a bag salad or you prep a salad at your house, throwing tofu on, and again, the chickpeas are also separate, you could throw those on. If one day for breakfast you feel like having eggs and vegetables, these vegetables, because they're separate, you can cook scrambled eggs into it or you can take a tortilla or a wrap and take some chickpeas or some tofu or some paneer and add it to the vegetables with maybe a few other things in a wrap so there's a lot of versatility like I said to what you're preparing and I find that that has been the key have the items that you're making versatile enough that you can use them to make other things so once it's cooked I'm gonna put it in a container again have it ready in the fridge so whatever my heart desires at the time I mix and throw it together in a pan and I have a complete meal with like healthy ingredients. All right, so the veggies are done cooking. Here they are, they look great. In the same frying pan, in the interest of not having to wash six million dishes, I'm going to cook up the tofu. So that just requires a little bit of either cooking oil or a little bit of avocado oil. I don't think I actually need to put anything because I put avocado oil in and cooked the vegetables. And they just need a couple of minutes on each side. You're really just cooking it through. I'm gonna put it on medium heat and get that done. And the rice is also done cooking. I use like really simple Uncle Ben's converted brown rice. It's not it's not complicated. It takes 20 it takes 20 minutes from the time that it boils. Um, and I find that it turns out perfect every time. So there it is. Perfect every time. So while the tofu is cooking up, I'm gonna go check on my burgers that are in the fridge. All right, so there we go. I am going to flatten these out a little bit, put like a layer of wax paper between each one and stick them in the freezer because I'm not using them till later this week and I think I would like them better if they were being cooked from frozen as opposed to in the fridge for a couple of days. So the burgers are all wrapped up. When I was wrapping them, you'll see some of them are just like kind of wrapped over. The only reason for the wax paper is really just to keep them from sticking. They're gonna be in this airtight container anyways and I'm gonna stick them in the freezer. Full disclaimer, I've never frozen these burgers but from what I read when I got the original recipe, which I've modified quite a bit from the time I found that recipe, is that they do freeze really well and they're easy to take out and cook. So let's hope that's true. Tofu is also done. Like I said, it's just a couple of minutes aside. I flipped them once in between on like medium to low heat. You can tell, like it's, I mean it's tofu. It just has to be cooked through, that's all. Um, and as soon as this is cooled a bit, I'll get this in a container as well. All right, Marmy, time check. It actually took me 45 minutes because I was recording the video. If I wasn't recording this video, I think it would have taken me 30 minutes and I also got most of the uh, cleanup done as well. I have like one pot left to clean, but everything else is washed as well while the things were cooking. So let's see, um, oh, 
before I forget. One thing I did before this video was actually cut up some panita and freeze it. So I did this yesterday. Um, so I've got like little cubes of panita. So anytime I feel like it, I can heat up my butter chicken sauce or whatever I'm doing, whatever I'm putting the panita in and just, just throw it in. Um, and I also want to mention to cook the bean burgers. So stir fry is pretty simple. You know, just put it in a pan, you stir it, um, add any like extra seasoning or, or stir fry oil or whatever that you want um, and you cook it how you like it. Um, so that's pretty simple. So for the burgers, you're gonna cook them on the stove top on medium heat, add a little bit of cooking spray or cooking oil in the pan before you do it. And I usually end up cooking them, I'm gonna say about 10 to 12 minutes. So like a couple of minutes per side. They just have to be heated through. Um, and there is no meat or egg or anything in them. They're, they're vegan the way I made them. So just make sure they're heated through. And then I like to melt some cheese on top, which would not make them vegan, but does make them delicious. So that's how I have them. So let me show you everything we got done today. All right, friends. So we've got sriracha tofu, brown rice, chickpeas, stir fry veggies, and they have some garlic in there. We've got the black bean burgers, full of veggies as well. We've got some chopped up panit, and then we've got this butter chicken sauce, which is just like an extra, like kind of fun meal. So basically in my head, the ideas I have for meals are that you could have a burger with a side of veggies if you wanted. You could do a stir fry with the veggies, the rice, and the chickpeas if you wanted, or you can add the tofu if you want instead of the chickpeas, or you can add both. You can also actually add the paneer if you wanted to the stir fry. All you'd have to do is put it in a pan and cook it just the way you would heat this through and just make sure that the paneer is heated through as well. Another meal that you could make as a bonus, as like a fun kind of thing, is to have the butter chicken sauce with the paneer and eat it with the rice. So there's a lot of versatility in these few, few basic things, like literally it's only six things plus this sauce seven. And I can think of at least like five or six meals to make with this. Now I didn't make huge batches, you know we're a family of five. I didn't make huge batches because I don't want anything to go to waste. And I'm just kind of getting back into the meal planning and so I'm gonna have to see how much every, everything I need so that things don't get wasted. All right guys, so that's it for today's Wellness Wednesday video. So the time check, like I said, 45 minutes, but I think if you were focused and you know not recording at the same time you probably could get this done in 30 minutes including your cleanup so let me know what you guys thought about this vegetarian meal prep what kind of meal prep do you do can you think of different things you can do with these items are there different things you would add to this version of my meal prep i would love to hear from you guys in the comments down below so i hope you enjoyed today's video guys and if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe for more videos and follow me on my daily vlogs march on mermy